Producer, director, writer, in the recording live. So hi boys and girls, it's me Butch. My name is Terry David Silvercloud. I'm not native, it just sounds that way. I'm uh, 78 years old. Today is the 4th of April, 2023. Uh, I can't remember if it's a Tuesday or Wednesday. It's 20 after 11 here in a sunny Vancouver morning. We're waiting for spring. I think it's going to spring soon. So I'm going to make a video to help you learn a whole lot more about uh, swimsuits and where to get them. And uh, for those of you in a hurry, I'll give you some important stuff quickly and I'll put it in the description below. So if you're in a, a real hurry to get out of here and you want to um, find stuff then then you're you're going to be able to do that um, so I basically went naked much of my life at Rec Beach here in Vancouver and the Oasis Beach which is about a quarter mile east of Rec Beach it's a, a gay beach a LGBTQ beach um, there's gay people at Rec Beach too you know mostly they hang out by the breakwater uh, but there'll be several thousand people there on a sunny weekend. Uh, you have to climb up and down 500 stairs. So uh, I started going down to English Bay and I had to get something to cover myself up to wear there. And the only place I could find in Vancouver was Top Drawers who had anything for men uh, other than board shorts. You can find board shorts, but trying to find anything else is really hard. So that sort of started my addiction about five or six years ago into uh, now having at least like a <laughs> hundred pair of various bikinis and things. Um, so this is going to teach you a whole lot about uh, swimsuits and stuff. And for those of you who are really in a hurry, and I know that that's a whole bunch of you, uh, again, I've listed all of my top picks in the description below, so you can go look at that right away, or you can hang in there and become a connoisseur of what's going on and things you probably don't even know about. So this is the, the, the butch list. And also, before we get too carried away um, some quick definitions speedo is a brand it's not a type of bathing suit uh, speedo invented the low-rise men's uh, bathing suit which we now call a men's bikini uh, the word bikini was invented for a woman's bathing suit in 1947 two-piece bathing suits for women started happening because of uh, material shortages during World War II. And then uh, a very skimpy version was introduced and dubbed the bikini after the recent atomic bomb tests on the bikini atoll. Anyhow, uh, a bikini now is just any very, very skimpy bathing suit, men's or women's. Uh, a sanga is a Brazilian cut uh, bathing suit and it features extra material in the front. It can be low rise or mid rise. The rise is not significant. It's the uh, extra material in the front with a drawstring. Aussie style is basically a very low cut sanga. It's loose in the front low rise and uh, usually features a drawstring so I mentioned the uh, bikini origin um, I bet that rain was a bit much wasn't it sorry about that 
I probably could have fixed them. I'm so busy trying to pay attention to what in the earth he's doing. Uh, I want to be over here. Let's use this one. There we go. Um, so the bikini, that was the very first bikini. And the inventor, the designer, the French designer, caused a real scandal. Now girls, even at English Bay, they I see girls there wearing uh, a postage stamp uh, over their titties and another postage stamp on their, uh, their gear down below. So I mentioned that a sangha is uh, a, a, a a swimsuit, the, the name comes, it's uh, Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese for a men's, men's swimsuit. And it features uh, plenty of material in the front, uh, usually a drawstring, because Latin men like to arrange their gear and show it off. The rise is not particularly important, but Traditionally, a, a sangha would look sort of like what you're looking at right there, and uh, you can get them right from Brazil from karaokeware.com. Where am I? Let's move on. Move on. All right. Um, up until uh, the turn of the century, men and women went separately, basically bathing and naked. And uh, when women started taking to the water, they often wore shoes and dresses and um, nothing much was available other than wool until uh, the early version of Speedo came along and they started making racing suits out of cotton and silk. But the basic style would be what you see, this uh, uh, racer back. Uh, it's called the, it was dubbed the racer back. Um, and uh, BVD company got the famous uh, Olympic star Johnny Weissmuller on the left there to the model their uh, racer back uh, suit. Uh, which would have been made of uh, ribbed knit uh, wool. Uh, Johnny Weissmuller, uh, if you're not familiar with him, uh, was an Olympic champion and went on to star as Tarzan. <laughs> he became the original Tarzan of the movies. So now I'm sure you're thinking, oh yeah, I remember especially older folks. I important in the world of uh, swimsuit history is Charles Jansen. He coined the word uh, swimsuit in 1917. Uh, he, I think his brother and a friend, they had a small knitting mill above their store and uh, they got a request from uh, one of the rowers on a team, I think, to which he belonged to uh, make them a, a warmer suit for rowing in which to row. And uh, so they had to, they were gonna use rib knit stitching, which was used in cuffs because it could stretch and go back to its shape. And you can see the suits that uh, were the original suits. Uh, uh, and then uh, Charles and his buddies decided that uh, they would get themselves into the swimsuit business. and. Uh, they no longer make men's suits, and the brand is owned by somebody else these days, but uh, they became a major player in the swimsuit business, as did uh, the BVD company using Johnny uh, Weissmuller and his good looks in Olympic fame. Uh, back, in, back in the early days, uh, women they basically wore dresses into the water, uh, uh, which would probably more likely to cause them to drown, but uh, Olympic winner Annette Kellerman came along and she said, I ain't having none of that. And she started wearing what the men were wearing and uh, they tried to bar her, but uh, uh, people sort of got over that soon enough. If you want to buy some old style swimwear, there's a place you can buy them here, Historical Emporium. Dot com. Um, 
So what really became popular besides Speedo in the 60s were uh, board shorts and um, the main designer way back when was um, uh, Quicksilver, an Australian company. <laughs> Speedo was also an Australian company. Quicksilver moved to uh, California and they they were the original uh, uh, people to... Um, I just have to do something, bear with me here. I gotta do that. You know, I think it'll be okay, I hope. Anyhow, we're gonna move into the future. Hang on to your britches here, and here we go, into the future. So, <laughs> I hope that wasn't too loud. Um, anyhow, board shorts are, are still all very popular, but what's, uh, what's changing or, or what's going on right now is if you want to be hip and cool, and I have no, which camera am I on? I think, oh, am I on that camera? Hi. Um, you'll be into square cut, square cut, Whatever the rise that your 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 heart your heart likes, uh, square cut is what's in style. Whether it's ergonomic <clears throat> in Latin style, um, but square cut is in. Now, if you don't give a crap about style and you just uh, you just do whatever you like, um, I don't know why this is not coming up. This happened before. I'm going to click this and mix, see if it happens. Oh, there it is. There it is. Um, my favorite cheap, I'm gonna use the word cheap because they use cheap. My favorite brand is cheapundies.com. Cheap as in cheap, inexpensive. Uh, this is their house brand, $10 uh, USA brand uh, bikini. It's a uh, push-up and show it off it's just awesome so get your exact size or tinier it doesn't have a straw drawstring and it's stretchy um, so um, you know it can stretch out a bit uh, so it can stretch to fit you my favorite favorite brand of besides cheap undies is joe snyder joe snyder is as minimal as it can get in the front. It's they use very high quality material, stretchy, stretchy material. So when you change size, you're mostly changing the waist size. And because I go down to English Bay and sometimes sit in the bench and yak to people for something to do, I like to have some. I usually have a towel down anyway because I'm such a hypochondriac. Uh, but I like to cover my butt and. I don't have the uh, the world's greatest butt, um, so Joe Snyder is, is definitely me. I, I, I just I just love Joe Snyder. That's me on the far left wearing a, a pair of Joe Snyder's uh, down at English Bay, and is this working? I don't know. Let's try this. Here we go. And me, some more of me and Joe Snyder. That's how much I love them. These are just all Joe Snyders. Of uh, it took me a while to realize it. If you just carefully look at the different cuts and styles and colors, that you can pick a full bikini back and then choose the side to be like you can see is on the far left and far right to be almost. Uh, string bikini or uh, or whatever and again uh, uh, I highly 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 recommend cheap undies these are $10 a shot 
and I have a, I have a geez, well I've been trying them in small see what how small I can go I can get a pair of small on I'm busy losing weight so uh, there's me in a pair of cheap undies and uh, I'm gonna compare me to uh, Joe Snyder so you can see on the far right is the cheap undies, $10 US. Uh, show yourself off in the Joe Snyder's. Uh, these are, this is what you'll see Butch in. This is like, uh, you, 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 you don't care. You'd rather be nude, <laughs> but you can't be. So you want to wear something. And, and another really high fashion, skimpy, uh, uh, sunwear, bathing wear brand I just love is Skinswear. And again, with Skinswear, once you get used to it, you can, you'll can you realize that you can pick a full back, a skinny back, a tea back. You can mix and match. And they don't really make most of them anyway until you order it because they're using really exotic materials, really high class materials and uh, they'll make it to order and they'll make you what you want uh, they're a small company get in touch with them whatever your size whatever your shape um, uh, order a pair and uh, what's happening here here we go my, my <laughs> studio gear I'm, I'm doing this with open broadcast studio and my computer's trying to keep up. Here's me wearing skins wear. Uh, I could wear it tighter. You can see it's a little bit of looseness around the, uh, the middle there. And another brand that I just loves, 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 but you have to be uh, uh, a brave of heart to... Uh, where am I? Which camera am I using? Oh, that camera. Hello. Um, you got to be one of those guys that, you know, you, you, you're proud of yourself. And uh, uh, so I just love uh, muscle skins. And I have one, two, let me see. Here's, here's my uh, first pair. Uh, and that was just, I tried to pick the best size. This was me last, um, last summer. And, and then uh, I ordered up uh, a couple of sort of more customy ones and I tightened it a bit more uh, and I think it's just awesome. It's the uh, torpedo model and some, some people wouldn't be up to uh, wearing these in public but uh, you know, you're covered and uh, this is me. Uh, with uh, muscle skins. Uh, let's see if I can get the slideshow to work. This was me wearing uh, was my uh, first first red pair. Uh, I don't think that wants to do that. Maybe it will. I don't know. Okay, so let's move on. One of the things that uh, I got to mention is that you can find all kinds of uh, buys that are really neat on Amazon. And uh, I bought a pair of these uh, ice silk uh, bikinis uh, on Amazon for about 10 bucks, I think they were. And ice silk is a type, type of nylon with lycra in it or spandex or something it feels really it's really stretchy and it 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 feels uh, it feels really smooth so uh, I, I i thought they were just awesome and uh, let me put myself over there um, i'm going to show you mine uh, I, i'm wearing a pair and uh, what i'll do is i'll show you a couple of a couple of a couple of different things so where are we? So here, here are those. Um, see, here's that bikini there. Got a not a full back, right? Covers a bit of the butt. I, I think it's just 
just awesome. And, and while you're here, uh, since I got your attention, um, I'm going to show you, um, uh, I'm going to make sure I know what camera I'm on here. Let's go to this camera over here. That guy there. Okay. Make sure I know what you're seeing. Uh, I'm just going to go off camera here for a second. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a, uh, I sure hope I'm off camera. I'm going to put on a pair of uh, what I would say if you're just looking for a plain, as sexy as it gets, uh, not too skimpy, but you, you definitely want to sort of be uh, showing it off. Uh, trying not to lose my balance here. And uh, Aussie Bomb Classics are, are, are my recommendation. Here I am, here I am wearing a pair of uh, extra large, I'm a 36 waist, uh, here I am wearing a pair of uh, Aussie, Aussie Bum Classics, I'll give you another, another view of that. Suck it in David. I'm all so I think these are awesome. They, they cover your butt nicely. They're, they're transparent when they're wet. Uh, they're double lined in the front to hide your, your, your tools in there. You can sort of see the, this double lining coming there. And I have the, the exact same things uh, in fake from Light in the Box. Um, and I'm going to, uh, I, I'm not going to show you, I bought the, uh, oops. these are uh, fake uh, Aussie Bum Classics from uh, Light in the Box and uh, they're just made of nylon where these are like, they're like super soft ice silk, they're like these are like soup. These are like awesomely sexy. They're, this is as sexy as it's gonna get. Uh, you know, I'm still not like uh, being totally naked. Um, but I'm gonna show you a pair of the fake, and uh, this will be one size down down a bit. So I gotta go off camera. I think I'm off camera. I hope I'm off camera. Oops. And uh, so the ones I'm gonna show you are. Uh, large, uh, which is like a pretty much my real size right now, 36 waist and extra large. If you're going to go Aussie style, you, you really want to get them a bit larger because they have a drawstring and um, so if they're, they're going to, if they do tend to be falling off, you can just tighten up on the drawstring and that way you can arrange your uh, your manhood down below and uh, so here I am wearing which is really my correct size fake Aussie bomb they're called Austin Bem and uh, you can see they're a bit transparent through the bum uh, they have the lighting in these from from there all the way across to there so there's a, a double lighting uh, in there uh, so it won't be transparent um, in the front when wet, but in the back uh, you can probably let's go over there. You can, you can probably sort of see a little bit of flesh showing showing through, and, and definitely when it's wet, and that that's delivered. That's 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 part of the style. Um, Look at these other cameras. I'll show you anything better. Uh, so this is this is uh, this is it. And what other camera have I got here? It's a bit too dark to be useful, isn't it? So um, this is the uh, the fake. Um, 
Aussie bum. Um, my my absolute uh, favorite is Joe Snyder, and I just got uh, one of their bikinis, and I'll show you. Give me a sec. I'll show you me and a Joe Snyder. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm off camera there. Um, Joe Snyder brand, you can get directly from Joe Snyder, uh, USA or US, um, and a lot of other, uh, you'll find a lot of sites that carry uh, this type of stuff will carry, maybe not all Joe Snyder, not the whole line maybe, but they will carry some Joe Snyder uh, because it's a very, very well known uh, brand. So I'm busy putting this on. Give me a second here. So this is this is as skimpy as it gets. Really, uh, is in Joe Snyder, and this is uh, you have to be into being a show off to uh, to wear this kind of thing, I guess. I don't think you get this anymore. I got it because it was on sale. That's why, you know, it's last year's model or whatever. So I don't think you can get this particular one. Um, but, you know, they'll have uh, something. Um... <laughs> Here we go. Joe Snyder. So if you want absolute minimal sun, uh, again, he's using really, really first class materials and. Uh, if you go into uh, uh, a chlorine pool or anything like that, then you want to, uh, I'll show you one more, it's a uh, Cock Socks brand. Um, I, I love Cock Socks. There's so many great suits out there, there's just so many, that if you're like me, you become sort of an addict, I guess. Uh, you gotta have them all. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't really, we don't really have a long enough summer for me to wear everything I got now, but I've been collecting them for, uh, this is the eighth year since I started buying, uh, back in 2015 when I first went in the top drawer trying to find something to wear to the beach, and then discovered that I had to look around. So uh, this looks similar to the Joe Snyder, but this is cock socks and um, they have the red stripe in various things. This happens to be their, their minimalist. And again, they have a nice, uh, you, you can pick and choose backs and fronts. And uh, I think the, uh, I think cock socks are just, just awesome. So this is me, the 78. This is grandpa wearing cock socks. Um, I think they're just awesome, awesome, awesome. And since I'm still here, I'm going to show you me wearing a pair of actual Speedos. Now I have, uh, where is you? I have a pair of uh, <coughs> 36 waist and, uh, hang on. I have a 36 and a 38 waist, so I'm going to put on the, uh, Sorry, I have a 34 and a 36. Let me double check. Yeah, so I have a 34 and a 36. So I am a 36. That's my correct size. Okay. I'm going to show you what one size down from my correct size looks like. Uh, me, me and a white Speedo. Um, this particular Speedo... Speedo is a brand that was started in 1917 as a, a woolen company and then um, they changed their name right off camera, yeah. they changed their name to Speedo uh, when they redesigned pretty much everything. They had a new designer who I'm going to get to. <coughs> Peter Travis came aboard and he decided not to go with the Board short trends, but he invented the low rise, the low rise uh, bathing suit for men, three inch, five inch, and seven inch. And then when uh, 
some men were arrested on Bondi Beach for uh, indecent exposure when they were wearing the three inch rise. Uh, the case got thrown out of court, but it, uh, it gave Speedo uh, a ton of publicity. So this is me wearing a pair, I'll leave the drawstring out, this is me wearing a pair of Speedos that are technically one size too small for me. And they were known as the uh, budgie smugglers because, you know, you could tell there was something hiding underneath the, the front, the fronts in there. And uh, so this is uh, one size too small. Uh, and, and that's really tight, but this is a Speedo. Uh, what else do I want to tell you about it? Um, I guess that's it. I'm going to go back to oh, one more thing I'll do before I'm through here. I'll show you a pair of cheap undies in, in white. Cheap undies in white. Hang on. I'm going to cheap undies. It's sort of off white. Off camera. Got some off camera. Um, Anyhow, Speedo became very popular after the court case when the men got arrested and throughout the 60s the three inch rise Speedo uh, was uh, the most popular. But what I meant to tell you, I knew I lost track of why I was wearing the Speedos. Uh, the particular Speedos I showed you are not the original style. They're, they're even lower. They're a one inch rise. So they're, they're even lower they're even half as they're even lower than the ones the rest the guys got arrested for plus they're a bit more ergonomic and ergonomic means that speedo now does what a lot of other people do is they put a seam down down the uh front so this is um uh, cheap undies whites in white and uh, Speedo, the ones I was showing, they're called the one inch solar breeze, but they also make uh, the old style. Um, so this is this is cheap on these whites. Again, I guess you have to be uh, uh, daring to wear sort of, I can see in the light, they're, I, I don't know, it looks like you're seeing through them, but you can't. I, somehow in camera it looks like you're seeing through them, but in real life it's not there. <laughs> it's only on camera. So in real life they're, they're showing more on camera than they are in reality. Um, but what am I going to do here? I want to get back to what I was wearing before. Uh, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put my sports shorts back on. These are uh, made by these, short, these cute shorts I'm putting on. They're made by Go Software. Uh, software like Soft uh, W E A R. And the cheapest way to get them is directly from uh, Go Software. Uh, and they're, they're not cheap, <laughs> they're about $38 US. And I've seen them for as much as $75 in places like eBay. Why? What they're thinking, I don't know. I guess because they're more difficult to find. Uh, Go Software makes, they make a, a pair that go down to here, which I'm tempted to buy, but I already, I've ordered a whole bunch of stuff I won't have time to wear this summer, and I'm poor. So gosoftware.com. Now, let's go back to... Um, Where am I? Let's go back to here. Um, get my earphones on, make sure I can still hear things. Still there? Oh yeah, I'm still there. Oh good. So another thing I can see is next up on my uh, my list here is uh, uh, I told you Amazon was pretty cool, and then uh, from Walmart. 
Um, I also got uh, a pair of these for like about 10 bucks. And I meant to show you those too, because I was, I like the stripes are sort of in again. <laughs> stripes are in. Where are we? Let's go to this camera over here. Uh, so it's a very nice Sangha style suit. And what was kind of cute I wanted to show you is it came with a modesty pad you can take in and out and uh, to either, I guess, make you look bigger or, or cover up what you have. I don't know what you want. I guess to hide what you have. Maybe if you wanted to hide your circumcision. <laughs> uh, when I was in the clothing business, I went to buy some clothes in Montreal and the uh, uh, the man who owned the factory, the pant factory, <laughs> Bowen Pants, he was he was a, an older Jewish man. And he said, yeah, the pants are so tight this year, you can tell what religion you are. So that's, if you don't want people to be able to tell what religion you are, uh, maybe that would help you out or a pair of tidy whities. All right, so Walmart. Um, Walmart might actually have some uh, some interesting stuff. Now I have desktop cam here. Why do I have that? Oh, I see. I guess because that's where I was supposed to be before. I'm back here. Still holding the I'm holding the bag. Uh, oh no, no, you're not seeing me yet. That's what I'm supposed to do. There I am. See, I'm a ditz. You lose track. I told you I'd screw up, and I told you this would get a bit long. So if you're into wanting competition swimwear, uh, the main brands are Nike, Arena, Tier, and Speedo. And the best places to buy those will be swimoutlet.com or internationaljock.com. Uh, swimoutlet.com is like a uh, internet uh, superstore. Uh, internationaljock.com carries all kinds of stuff it's it's uh it's a huge 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 place and you could probably find what you want i got to mention a particular style here before i get carried away latin style is you can see this is very this is very in, this is in style this is as in style as you can get this young man is wearing a latin style big pouch ergonomic big pouch that's what latin style is a cut you can't miss the pouch that makes it latin style and square cut that's uh and it's also very useful for guys that are endowed with uh uh particularly uh large tool toolboxes uh i showed you me wearing uh the pair on the left there the cock socks i showed you me wearing a pair of those and on the lower right, you can see some rough skins. Rough skins don't come much bigger than a 36 waist, I don't believe. So you gotta be a smaller guy. And if you want authentic, authentic Brazilian sangas, you can get them right from, right from Brazil, karaoke wear. And a sanga is not defined by the rise, but by the extra material in the front and a, uh, a, a drawstring uh, so you can get these straight from Brazil original sungas so the big difference between a speedo an original speedo speedo now makes the, the white pair I showed you where if you could get them big enough you could sort of call them a sunga because they have a seam down the front and some extra material on the front but the original Speedo, uh, if you look on the left of this image here, the two guys on, on the left are wearing original uh, bungee smuggler Speedos, which you'll see a lot of most divers still wear because divers and water polo players don't want their suits coming off when they're making sudden moves through the water, like plunging through the water and water polo players don't want anybody to be able to grab their suits. It's not legal to do that, but things happen underwater. 
So the big difference between a Sangha and a Speedo style is you can see the Sanghas on the right or the baggy front, especially on, on the upper upper right there. And one more here. Let's do... Did I do this yet? This is the, uh, the same idea to show you that the Sangha style across the top is Latin style on the far left. It's a Sangha, but it's Latin style with a big pouch and several other types of uh, Sanghas happening there too. Uh, board shorts are still happening and that's pretty much what you'll find in most if you if you go looking for swimwear for a guy that's pretty much all you get a choice to look at uh, and, and they're still still happening <coughs> and the best choice for those are uh, chubbyshorts.com chubby shorts is like huge huge site chubby shorts you'll if you haven't heard of chubbies <laughs> you'll be happy Butch told you about Chubbies. And then Quicksilver, they were sort of the original board short people. And SwimOutlet.com Outlet, Swim is like a gigantic internet. Uh, I see I left a space between M and O. It's, a, it's all one word, SwimOutlet.com. Light in the Box, they're, uh, Light in the Box is kind of like an Amazon, a curated Amazon with a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of uh, fashion sort of stuff that's what uh, that is so one of the things if you go shopping on Amazon and uh, eBay uh, there's going to be a lot of fakes and uh, what I'm showing you here is uh, Addicted is a brand and here's an obvious fake Addicted and a real Addicted would make the stripes line up in the front um, so there's going to be a lot of fakes and you just have to sort of keep your eyes out for them. Jammers, let's talk about jammers. Jammers are sort of modern board shorts uh, and handy if you're into boarding. They're not anywhere near as comfortable for most guys as actual board shorts. I think most guys will find board shorts more comfortable than jammers. Um, but swimming competition allows for certain lengths of jammers now uh, and you do go a little bit faster apparently through water wearing jammers because the material is more uh, water repellent and uh, there's less little crevices to cause drag you know around your your parts uh, but wearing very very tight speedos will be almost 100 percent the same the difference is we're talking to <laughs> less than seconds fraction hundreds of a second here but races are won by hundreds of a second but you can't wear jammers longer in a certain length um, i think you'll find uh i think you'll find that uh, regular uh, board shorts are uh, a lot more comfortable the original speedos were made of cotton and uh, silk the racing suits and then the three and five inch became very popular, which uh, you'll all uh, probably have familiar, familiar familiarity with. Jeez, can't say it. I lost my eye tooth, and I don't have 5,000 to fix it right now. Those suits were invented, as I mentioned earlier, by the new designer at Speedo when they did a revamp and changed their name to Speedo. Uh, he designed the what we call the men's bikini, but it's really a Speedo, and... Uh, Speedo is a brand, it's not a style, um, and uh, these days, this is what I was wearing, this is called the Solar Brief, when, if you're still here and you were watching me earlier, this is called the Solar Brief, and it's only a one inch rise, so it's even lower than the original Speedo, and it has some extra room in the front by adding a, a, a bit of a, a, a seam there. Um, but Speedo makes uh, a wide variety of suits these days. Uh, the original Speedo was in Australia. Now, uh, Speedo is, there became, there became a Speedo USA, USA and a Speedo Europe, and now they are all under uh, one company, which is headquartered in the United Kingdom. 
the Aussie style, uh, the Aussie style speedo is uh, wearing it loose. So from here on in, I'm just going to go through a whole bunch of other brands that are available. I'm going to just do them one after the other. Here we go. I don't know how to pronounce this. Valberquin for board shorts. Greg Home for underwear and, and stylish swimsuits. Ralph Lauren, again, higher priced. Uh, and here, here is, uh, uh, I'm going to give you a little advertisement for Ozzy Bum Classic. Here we go. So they also make a more, the classic is the original brand and what you're seeing on the upper left I hope is uh, the swish and the main difference with the swish uh, is it's a little bit lower rise, that's the main claim. Also because uh, Aussie Bomb has so many people trying to copy them. Uh, there's also a seam down the front, which means they can make it a little uh, more um, er ergonomic, a little more push out. The classic, this is the one you saw me wearing earlier. It comes in a variety of colors. And I, I think if you just had to pick one bathing suit, this is it. This is the one you should pick. That's what I think. Uh, and they have other things too. This is the camo. There's fakes. On Light in the Box, you'll, you'll uh, find a brand called Austin Ben. Bem, and it's a uh, fake uh, classic uh, Aussie bums and I have uh, uh, a pair of extra large and a pair of large I believe it is uh, and they're, they're quite nice I, I, um, but I tried buying something similar on eBay and they were using that exact picture on the upper right and uh, what they sent me was something totally different uh, I got my money back, but uh, these ones, Austin Bem from Light in the Box, they're they're quite nice. They're uh, they're fairly inexpensive. So if you want again, a made in Australia uh, swimsuit, Sluggers Sluggers is a, a, a very good brand, and uh, I I don't own any, but. Uh, I, I think I could recommend them and they give you a pretty comprehensive uh, size chart. Male Basics is a, uh, they have a variety of brands. Jack Adams is a uh, very classy, classy kind of swimwear and will often be faked by you might find fake Jack Adams on eBay. I've mentioned a couple times Authentic Sangha from KaraokeWear.com. This is low rise, it's almost Aussie style. Uh, I don't own any of their stuff. Uh, rough skin don't run large, so if you're a bigger person, they have some uh, really nice stuff, but uh, unfortunately, if you're like uh, above a 38, I think you'll have trouble 
uh, finding finding stuff. Uh, I don't know much about Extreme Brand, but there's some of their stuff. Rick Majors makes really nice stuff, really really nice stuff. And for you guys that are into uh, lace, you you would like to wear a lace bikini. Uh, you might want to check out uh, Rick, Rick Majors uh, for lace wear. Um, Addicted is so well known, they're widely faked on by some sites on places like eBay. Uh, but they make really nice stuff. They make really nice stuff. Ergo wear makes Latin style swimwear, big pouch. If you're a, if you're well endowed or you're a big fan of the Latin pouch, Ergo wear will be something you'll like. Indoor wear is very high fashion, uh, high quality, and uh, very classy. Very classy stuff. Uh, Turboware is uh, a place where you can buy all kinds of stuff. It's gigantic. Uh, if you're into water polo or team sports and you're looking to uh, buy uh, stuff that was designed for uh, competition wear, Turboware is a place for you. Underjeans.com sells fashion brands. Geronimo brand is a Bulgarian brand uh, you can get here. It's hard to get Eastern brands. Uh, Funky Trunks in Australia. Uh, they have a variety of stuff. Sorry, I didn't have sound on that one. So the, the next one is uh, a, a Sangha site and apparently my microphone phone's not turned on, so I'll show it to you quickly, then I'll move on. It's gonna come quick and then move on. And I'm back again. Tadley is uh, a brand I'm not particularly familiar with whom I'm not particularly familiar. Uh, where am I here? Toph. Did I get them? Oh, there we go. Toph. Toph is a classy kind of stuff from Paris. Very nice stuff. Very nice stuff. Uh, they can be widely faked as well, but you might like them. nose is clogging up. I have to take painkillers and it does that to me. Bang in Miami. They have nice uh, nice swimwear. And JJ Malibu. Argyle Grant is for the guy who drives the Rolls Royce and the Jaguar. Everything he wears to be the most expensive exotic, whatever it is, money will buy, and our girl Grant will start falling into that category. Apparently, I didn't have the sound on for Daniel Alexander. Sorry about that. And Modus Vivendi, another fashion outlet. And Dead Good Undies. See, I thought I tested all the mics and everything. Jeez, you just don't know. Uh, you still here? End to end body wear. This is the most extensive list you're going to find anywhere. Pump is a well known brand. Pump. You might like that. They have all kinds of stuff, and it's a brand. Uh, T 
Frontier, TYR, they're known for competitive bathing suits, industrial grade, uh, water polo diving competition style. And the locker room jock will give you a variety of stuff you'd expect to find if you were a locker room jock. ASOS will show you some more slinky stuff. And Kiniki will show you tan wear. Apparently you can tan right through their stuff. And uh, you can go through tan, tan through swimwear too. So I missed, uh, geez, several, I didn't have the mic on there. So Straps has a variety of stuff, including uh, fake, uh, fake uh, Aussie bums. Clever Swim, uh, again, uh, some, some variety. LY Sports, competition and recreational swimwear. Stuff for bodybuilders and people who are pure sun worshippers. H- highly, mainly custom, custom body wear. Kiefer competition stuff. Arena swimwear. You'll find them on a lot of sites because that's a brand and they're like industrial grade swimwear. Jor swimwear features a, uh, a variety of uh, a variety of stuff. And then Danny Miami, if you want to look uh, colorful in Miami, Danny Miami's where you want to go. Just stop in and say hi to Danny in Miami. If you're looking for custom posing suits or sun suits, you might want to try Jet North competition posing suits. So that sort of brings me to the end.